Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Troll Shaman playthrough. I picked up everything there was to pick up in Orgrimmar, including Thrall's Quest, which is going to take us back here to this Burning Blade Coven Cave. But yeah, I think first what we're going to do is we're going to head out and take care of some of the other stuff that we have going on at level 11. Uh, we have our fire totem quest to work on at some point in a cave here north of Razor Hill. And we have Fizzle to take care of. But we're going to go for the harpies first and uh, get that done right away. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me and Azeroth today. I really do appreciate that. We are going to rock the one-handed axe and the shield for a little bit to level up our one-handed axe skill. Hoping that that's not going to be too painful dealing with these harpies. Uh, I don't think these are the ones that we actually need. We need to get back into one of the deeper ravines. But these might be something we can warm up on. Uh, they're gray, which is fine because we're not going to hit them very much here at first. And they're mostly going to be killing themselves on our lightning shield. This might be a time for Flame Tongue Weapon over Rock Fighter Weapon. Uh, not bad, we're at 36 out of 65, so we should start hitting consistently pretty soon. Looking at the objectives, it looks like the cave we need to find for the shaman quest is basically right above where we're at now, which is a little bit awkward. But yeah, we can't get to it from down here. We actually have to go north of Razor Hill and stay up on the elevated part of Duratar, not down here in the ravine. Although I know it looks like we should be able to get to it from here, but pretty sure that we can't. Now once we get this axe leveled up sufficiently, I'll probably go back to the two-hander. I just wanted to get our weapon skills up. I don't really want a weapon to fall behind if we can help it. Two-handed maces, we have not been able to equip one yet, so I can't really do much there. 
but I would like to keep all of our weapon skills at a relatively decent level if we could. Let's pop the chest open and see what we have going on there. Okay, some water, some potions. Let's get a little bit of health back here before we proceed. I don't really want to mess with these guys that are up in the air that has caused me problems in the past, so I'm just going to leave them alone and we will find enemies somewhere else closer to the ground. Yeah, I don't I don't like trying to pull them from up there. It's uh it's sometimes problematic. Yeah, this is probably a good time to get all of our mana back. Looks like we got some male armor of the bear. One strength, one stam. Can't do anything with that.
we'll pop the chest open and then we can get out of here. Let's go turn this one in before we do anything else. And then I think we, I want to go down here and pick up uh, Lost But Not Forgotten. We can do that and we can get uh, Fizzle's Claw as well. For great enemies, they're still uh, pretty aggro-y. Yes, aggro -y is an official word. It means having a strong tendency to aggro. aggro -y. That was a misclick, but I let it ride. Meant to do lightning shield. Okay, yep, let's head out over this way. I think we're headed towards that small hut we can see just in the distance there. This was another one of those quests that I didn't even know about until I started using Questy. Please, can you help me? My son Kron went hunting days ago, and he still hasn't returned. He went west towards the Barrens to hunt Crocolisk along the South Fury River. I fear the worst. As strong as he was, his stubborn pride has always drawn him into trouble. I warned him that the Crocolisk were powerful and vicious. He grew angry and stormed off. If you can't find him, at least bring me a sign of his fate, even if you have to open up the stomach of every Crocolisk along the South Fury banks. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's World of Warcraft, so dude's been missing. He is totally dead. Let's do this one first. It's level 11, Fizzle's Claw. 
is level 12. Apparently we can also get uh, Lieutenant Insignia down there. That's interesting. Uh, no, I don't really want to fall here. Let's jump over the gap. There we go. Pretty sure we can jump this one too. I'm excited in a couple levels here we'll be able to see about healing Ragefire Chasm. That will be fun. I have a few quests for there already. So yeah, we're, uh, we're good to go whenever we're at level with it. And, yeah, wow, that's a first. I, yeah, we got it on the first kill. I will take it. It's unheard of, but I will take it. Let's work our way back here, and we will find Fizzle and uh, relieve him of his claw. Yeah, I guess it was too much to hope that we could avoid a couple of these guys. We avoided one, so don't need to avoid them all, but if we could avoid some of them, that would be good. Two-handed axe, 27 top-end damage, two agility. You know what? I think I want to equip this because I think I want to get our... Well, okay, we're... Yeah, I, for some reason I thought we had a mace. We are we are wearing an axe. I don't, I don't need to equip this. Yeah, we have an axe, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, for some reason I had a total mental blank and thought we were wielding a mace right now. But no, that's not the case. We need a mace. We need a two-handed mace. Uh, so we can start skilling that up. It's a main hander. That's an axe. Eventually we'll get a mace from like a quest reward or something and we'll wear it for a bit. Even if it's not better than what we have, we'll, we'll use it for a bit just to skill it up. If you keep on top of your weapons like that, it makes it a little bit less painful when you get a new upgrade and it's something that you haven't used in a little bit. At least then you have some skill with it as opposed to starting at zero. Still need to get to the Undercity to train daggers though. Not sure when that's going to happen. Probably around the time that we're ready to go to Silverpine, I guess. Uh, which could be any time. It's, it's up to us. Let's go a little bit further this way, I think. I think we have to go all the way around.
All right, a couple of things. Firstly, I'm going to do an elixir here of lion strength, and I'm going to drink some of our surplus of refreshing spring water just to get a little bit of mana back. It's not going to give us a ton, but it'll give us a little bit, and I can uh, kind of hold on to the milk. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Fizzle hanging out by the campfire. He is right next to a Burning Blade fanatic. Adjacent to them, we have another apprentice here with the Burning Blade. They're asleep, but their Voidwalker looks pretty awake. Uh, and Fizzle himself seems like he has a little pet companion. Uh, not really sure how this is going to go, but we do have potions. We do have... Oh, hi! Hello. Hey, I'm planning my strategy here. Would you mind uh, just kind of chilling out for a minute? I guess maybe this was a patrol. I'm glad we just kind of waited here. Okay, I do see now that we have some other enemies kind of lurking that we can clear out so they don't cause us any problems. Okay, cool. As I was saying, uh, we have Stoneclaw Totem, so we should be fine. I think I want to pull these guys back, maybe like around the corner, if I can do that. Yeah, let's pull them back, get some line of sight here on the imp. Hi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just getting hit through the damn walls. Yeah, this was, uh, really bad. How are they hitting us through the wall like that? Wow. Okay, then. Uh, you're doing something bad. Let's heal ourselves again. Yeah, this is, uh, kind of rough. I really don't understand why the terrain is set up so that they can cast right through the freaking ground. That's pretty annoying, and almost cost us our life. Uh, yeah, but we're fine. We got we got through it. That being said, I am going to fight the rest of these guys to see if we can get them to drop their insignia. That will stop us from having to go into the northern cave right now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's take you out first. There we go, Lieutenant's Insignia. Perfect. Uh, there is a quest maybe back here in the in the cave. We have to fight Gazu and get his eye. So maybe we still have to do that anyway. Uh, oh, what happened? Oh, good. We get to fight you again. That's not really what I wanted. Did not really want to deal with a respawn. That's for sure. Soul Siphon sounds bad. Oh, he's gaining a lot of health back, and I don't have enough DPS to really do much about it. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? Is there another exit to this place? That's the question. It doesn't really seem like it. Do you think we can get out going that way? I don't think so. I think we have to go out the entire way that we came. Which is going to be a little bit of running.
Uh, and I think I'm lost in here. Yeah, I think I took the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just going to try to run from these guys. It's probably going to be a really bad idea by the end of it all. Seeing as how I'm about to have like six of them lightning bolting me in the back. They don't seem to be able to stun us though. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's gonna be just fine. Maybe we're more resistant to magic than say a warrior would be. Don't know if that's true, but that's kind of what it feels like. Alright, and I think we got an item from that? Did we get an item? Maybe not. Hmm. Alright, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and go back to town. We need to vendor, we need to repair, we can turn this in. And, uh, well... Do we want to go for the reagents up here first? That's the question. Not really. I think we need to get north of Razor Hill via a different route. I don't actually know a good way of getting there. Uh, I've only done it once. I know it's not down here in the ravine. I know somehow it's, it's up top, so... Probably just coming down to Razor Hill, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be the best course of action. Kind of starting from there. If we look back here, I'm pretty sure that's the cave. Mm -hmm. Did you find Fizzle? He and the rest of the Burning Blade must be scoured from our lands. Oh, we found him. You do your clan proud, and because of you, Durator is free of one more agent of evil. Margaz. One of our shamans, Margaz, knows more of the Burning Blade's corruption. He speaks of a cave called Skull Rock in the mountains just outside Orgrimmar that shelters a large band of Burning Blade cultists. Before you go to Skull Rock, speak with Margaz. He is wise and his counsel is valued. He is camped to the northwest between the coast and Dry Gulch Ravine. Victory! Alright, so yeah, we have to uh, find a way to go out and around into the north, but stay elevated so we can get up into the cavern that we need to get into to do our shaman quest, and then we need to find Margaz, and then we can head to Skull Rock. That's the current order of business. I think if we come this way, maybe this will do it. I really don't know, but we'll, we'll try to go this way.
This looks like it'll get us to the cave. I don't know if it'll get us to Margaz. He seems to be in kind of a really weird spot. Maybe starting up here and coming south to find him is going to be our best bet. I don't know if we can get to him from the south. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it would be blocked off. Uh, we could try it. We might be able to find a way to jump down, but... First, let's see about this. Uh, we need reagents... And these guys don't drop them, so I'm assuming the guys who drop them are going to be further into the cave. See, it's funny, the one part of the quest has us fighting, like, level 13 Quillbor, and then this part of the quest has us fighting level 9 guys, so a little bit of a disparity there. We are going to get some mana back. I don't know where she came from. Maybe she was a patrol that we missed. Seems a little weird. Well, I'm starting to wonder if we're going to get the item before we've cleared out the entire cave system, because we are pretty close to clearing it out. In fact, we're going to clear back to that chest no matter what, so it really doesn't matter. And there we go. Yeah, we are going to still just clear back here and see what's in the chest. Uh, we're going to drop a stone claw totem. And pop a potion here.
At least we keep replenishing our potions. That's the good thing. It's like, yeah, we're using lots of potions, but we're getting them back. Are you guys respawning, like, already? Seriously? You're already respawned? That's really not cool. It's just not cool. I hope that the entire cave isn't respawned, but yeah, it seems like everything is respawning. If it hasn't already, let's... Beat feet out of here. Uh, I don't think I want to fight my way out. I think we are going to run it. We will drop a slowing totem here. That seems to have been pretty effective. And yeah, we're home free. Let's see if we can get to this Maraz character uh, by coming to the north here. Maybe finding a clever spot to jump down. I don't really know. It just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. He's like tucked away. We'll take the ravine maybe. Maybe we can get out of here. I don't know. <laughs> I, I might have just made a terrible mistake coming down here. Yeah, we're probably... Probably not going to be able to go this way, are we? Okay, yep, that was dumb. Really, really dumb. Uh, let's go back, and we have to go out and around. Yeah, we have to go out and all the way around, I think. I'm hoping he has a quest that sends us into Skull Rock, so we have a reason to go in there to do the other quest. That would be really cool. And then I believe all that leads into a Ragefire Chasm quest, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I think this is the only way to get to this guy. Pretty sure. Welcome, word reached me of your coming and of your exploits in Durator. You are a shaman of growing skill and renown. Stay on the pure path and your future will be great indeed. The Burning Blade has infested the cave east of Argamar known as Skull Rock. Inside that cave they perform vile rituals and burn their own flesh with searing collars. By wearing these collars I believe the cultists attune themselves to demonic power. But to confirm this, I must have a collection of the collars to study. Go to Skull Rock and gather searing collars from the cultists you find there. Bring them to me and I will uncover their secrets. Strength. There we go. It is the quest that we wanted.
I'd like to get this one done and kind of just be finished with Duratar. We can move on in, into the Barrens. We can finish up our Call of Fire quest once we are fighting those Razorman guys. And yeah, that'll be good. We can get into the Barrens a little bit. Once we've been in the Barrens for a little while, I do want to jump into Silver Pine and we got to make sure that we start those two zones kind of going consecutively. Similar to how we've been doing Mulgore and Duratar, but it'll probably be a little bit more back and forth. I wonder if we should take out the caster first when they have a void walker. I feel like the void walker is just this big distraction and yeah, because we focus on the void walker, this guy has just been shadow bolting the crap out of us. Yeah, we're not we're not going in on the void walkers first anymore. We're going to take out the apprentices first. Uh, because that did a ton of damage to us. I'm hoping this guy is just stationary, like he's parked there. I'm also kind of thinking maybe he's up on an overlook that we're going to have to take a different way to get to him. That's actually kind of worrisome. Maybe we go this way. Yeah, the Void Walkers, man. Yeah, I shouldn't have went in on the Void Walker. Again, just making silly mistakes here. Might be a good time to go ahead and pull rank 3 of Healing Wave out to our bar. Just in case we actually need a big heal to save our lives. Uh, yeah, here we go again. The Voidwalker guys are really annoying. It's it's tough. The Voidwalkers have a lot of health and they, they hit pretty decently as well. Uh, we're going to Stone Claw Totem here. Maybe I should have been doing that all along, I guess. Would have been smart to just Stone Claw every time. Uh, yep, you're not gonna get that off. Well, it took everything we had, but we did it. And yeah, this is obviously not the way. <laughs> That's how good I am at navigating caves. I always pick the wrong way the first time and the second time. 
And, you know, maybe by the third time I'll find where this guy is, but when I find him, he's gonna be up on an overlook. And then I'm probably gonna have to fight through the same exact guys that I've already fought through. Uh, in order to find him. Which is gonna be incredibly painful because of the Void Walkers. Stoneclaw seemed to help us a little bit there. I hate having to use actual spells on these things. Yeah, I just don't think this is going to get me where I need to be. And I can't really... Yeah, look at this. i am He's got to be up there. This is not... This is not going to get me there. Nope, this is not going to get me there at all. I have made a terrible mistake. I have to go all the way around the opposite direction. I think I do this every time I come into one of these caves. The guy's always up on the outlook. The way to get to the outlook is to turn right from where you come in. Yeah, this is the way I need to go. Uh, now we have to clear this way. <laughs> uh, I'd like to take that guy out. Am I going to be able to? I don't know. Whoops. Big mist. Oh, we're dead. We're soaking dead. Jesus. Alright, that's not cool. Not cool at all. No way to shortcut that. We have to pull every one of them in sequence. It's gonna be great. Don't go that way. Lots of bad guys that way. I I'm assuming this has to drop them. We've run pretty far. There we go. Okay, let's let's try that all over again. I was hoping the other player was headed this way to kind of give us a hand, but apparently that's not what's happening. Big resist there, big resist. Misclick the totem. That's good. Am I going to be able to pull this guy without pulling her? Because I couldn't pull her without pulling him, so I don't know how it's going to work in reverse. That That's concerning. And we've learned that none of the crap in here is really going to be line of sight. I mean, I could try to line of sight him around this, but I don't think that's going to work. I think it's going to pull this too. Let's see. Alright, we did get him. Oh! Um, he has the health of an elite? Or something is going on? Something weird is happening? Yeah, this guy's an elite, man. I don't get it. I thought he was just a rare spawn. Ah, oh, son of a... So how am I going to get around him to actually get to the guy that I need? How am I going to do that? Oh good, we've got respawns popping up. We might not be doing this other quest. It's going to suck if it chains into something uh, for Ragefire, but yeah, this is not worth it. I'm going to try one more time to methodically pull to the left side in that room. If I can't pull that one female orc without pulling the elite, then we're going to leave. Um, yeah, it's not worth it at that point. I'll go grab a quest somewhere else. Kinda ludicrous, actually. I always have trouble telling like what's gonna be a rare spawn from what's gonna be a rare spawn elite. I'm sure there's like some visual way to do it. I just don't know what it is. Uh, all these guys are respawning. Jesus. I hate the respawn rate in this game sometimes. I love to be able to clear out a place and actually feel some freaking progression. Like, oh, I spent 20 minutes in here fighting. Can I, like, can I have them stay dead for seven or eight minutes, please? That'd be, that'd be great. Oh, you're back up. We got him before he could summon his Void Walker. That's good, I guess. We have to deal with the same crap here. So, I'm gonna try to Lightning Bolt her. 
and run around the corner. If doing this pulls that elite, we're leaving. It looks like we're okay. Now we have to avoid him and make sure that we don't accidentally pull him by walking past. So, yeah, this is probably death for us. I'm gonna try a healing wave. There we go. That works. That's a good time to level up. I'm starting to think maybe this is not going to get me to the guy either. Maybe I just don't know how to find the guy. Could be. It would be a real shame if we fought our way all the way back here, filled up our entire inventory, and then we still can't uh, get this item. We're going to give it a minute to see if he'll respawn. Uh, in the meantime, I'm sure there's plenty of crap we can fight somewhere. Oh, look at this. He's not even where the quest marks him at. He's not anywhere near it. At all. He's also level 14, which could cause an enormous problem for me. Let's find out. Words emanate from the pendant into your mind. Okay, <laughs> great. They did. They emanated. The words emanated a lot. Uh, let's check the chest. We don't have any inventory space, so we won't really be picking anything up except whatever stacks in our bags. And then I have to get out of here for my for my sanity. Uh, and that's not going to be the way that we do it. Yeah, I think we just need to get out of here as quickly as we can. Oh, 
There we go. Perfect. Yep. Great. Whew. I, I officially dislike that cave very much. I thought it would be easier going in there at a bit of a higher level, and it turns out, no, the guys in the back of the cave that cause the most problems are level 13 and 14 enemies. So yeah, let's be happy now that that's over. Speak, friend. Good. Hiding within these collars is the secret behind the burning blade, and I will uncover that secret. The searing collars you brought me are powerful demonic implements. Divining their origin is, I'm afraid, beyond my skills as a shaman. We will need a warlock to study them. Take the searing collar to collar to Niru Fireblade. Although he is a skilled warlock, he professes to use his powers to thwart demons and claims his research in the occult is benign. Be that true or false, we may need his aid against the demonic cult in Duratar. You may find Nero in the Cleft of Shadows. Oh good, our inventory is still very full. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Alright, guys. I am going to take us to Ogremar. We have a bunch of quests to turn in there. We're going to have quests to pick up. And yeah, I, I think that the next place we're going to be going is out of Duratar and over into the Barrens. I might make a little stop to work on the Fire Totem quest, if that seems like something we can do on the way to the crossroads. Then again, I actually have the crossroads uh, flight point, so I may just fly there from Ogremar because that makes more sense. We will grab all the quests that we can grab there. That will include some quests for the same Razor main guys that we need to fight or be around in order to get the, the Fire Tar. So yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. That's going to be our next move. We're going to go into the Barrens, into the Crossroads. We'll quest there for a little bit. We'll knock out some of the green stuff. But I do want to get into Silver Pine pretty soon, I think, if I'm going to do that at all. 14, 11, 11, yeah, ele level 11. So by the time we hit level 16, we need to be over in Silver Pine doing the green quest over there. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan, guys. I am going to wrap this one up here. I'll get all the breadcrumbs turned in in Orgrimmar. Pretty soon here we'll be ready for a Ragefire Chasm run, but I don't think that's going to be until level 15. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for being here and for all the support on the series. It does mean the world to me. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.